Good morning, Knicks Nation. Today is Monday, the 25th day of November 2024. Hope you're safe and healthy today on this Monday. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. I hope your family is safe and healthy and that you all enjoyed your weekend together. Blessings upon those that work in the healthcare field, that work along with first responders who every day are trying their best to save life. Those also that pick up garbage to keep our places clean and those that make deliveries for our convenience. Double blessings on the men and women that are here trying to help, rescue, deliver, and recover. Teenagers and children that are the victims of child molestation and pedophilia. People that are also victims of prostitution and child prostitution. Pornography and child pornography. Human trafficking and sex slavery. Double curses on those who are perpetrators of these things. Double curses on those who profit from these things. And double curses on perverts that create the demands for these multi-billion dollar industries. Finally, double blessings on the homeless. Nearly 600,000 men, women, children, families, senior citizens, veterans, homeless in the United States of America and millions around the world in similar or worse conditions. Blessings upon them, for theirs is the kingdom. There's going to be a basketball game tonight. The New York Knicks are in Denver, in Mile High, to play the Denver Nuggets. This is going to be a tough game for the Knicks. Now, a couple of things we can count on. Number one, a Tom Thibodeau coach team always studies the film of the previous game, especially when they lost, to find out what they can do better. Sec number two, you're not going to get two bad games in a row from Carl Anthony Towns. The thing is, is that he is now questionable with a contusion apparently on his calf. So we don't know if he's going to play today. Number three, Sims, that is Jericho Sims, was plus 19 Saturday night against Utah. This is good because now he, he's playing defense. It's not like Jericho's going to score 20 and get 20 rebounds, but... He's going to play positive, good defense. Now, this is going to get a, be against the three-time most valuable player, Nikola Jokic, who, the Joker, who, you know, is going to give anyone a hard time. So, we don't know if, if Gato is going to play today. Um, if he Tonight, if he is, that will help the Knicks a lot. We would use him. He, but if he does, he's not going to have a second game like he had against Utah. Um you're also going to get a better game in terms of energy-wise out of the whole in Knicks team. But then again, they're playing in altitude again today. So this is going to be a tough game for the Knicks. Um, you know, I'm not sure if we're going to get Deuce back today. I don't think we're going to get Precious today. But I'm hoping we get some positive news in terms of him being able to practice. If he's able to practice today, you can expect him to play Wednesday. When they play Dallas, which is going to be another important game for the Knicks. Right now, Knicks are nine and seven. They're six and four over their last ten. And so, even with all of these injuries to key pieces of the rotation, Tom Thibodeau's holding it together. You know, with this team, um, you expect Date Jalen Brunson, Josh Hart's going to come with the energy that he always comes with. Um, and then, of course, McCall Bridges is. He struggled uh, Utah, but then again, the whole team struggled against Utah. So um, we're expecting Bridges to come back and play better. Along with, now, OG Anobi can't play much better. OG Anobi's been on a tear recently. He was tired. He got beat backdoor a couple of times uh, against Lowry Market in, in Utah. I don't expect that to happen uh, tonight. So it's going to be a tough game, um, especially the Knicks again are miss missing pressures. Deuce is still questionable. Thibodeau said on Saturday before the game, even though Deuce was out, that he's close, that he's moving better, but he's just not quite there yet. So I'm hoping the two days rest he got between Saturday and today will help him be prepared. He's obviously, he went out and he was shooting. He's, he's obviously been shooting. So, but there's nothing like actually shooting in a game. You know, so we'll see how that is. One thing we know from Deuce, and this is the important thing I think that we need to remember. Once he gets on the floor, you know, he hurt his knee, I think, in the second game of the season. And he played on that. And he's going to do that. 
you know, and the Knicks know that. So they want to make sure he is healthy as possible when he goes out there. Because once he gets out there, it's hard to take him out the lineup, you know, because he's the toughest nails kid. So you want to make sure he's good before he goes out there. If he goes out there, he's going to, you know, he's going to bring defense, 94 foot defense. He's going to bring that. Um, and so just that addition will help. But this is going to be a tough game for, for the Knicks. There's no doubt about it. Uh, so um, they got a tough road to hoe. We're pulling for our heroes to win this game. Um, but this is going to be difficult. Now, the good thing is last year, that was last year, the Knicks did own Denver last year, okay? But that was different. First of all, we had Isaiah Hartenstein in the middle, okay? That's a big difference. And then the second game, we blew Denver out. We had OG here with, with Juju. So Juju, eh, not worry about that. But we do not have Isaiah Hartenstein. We do not have Precious Achua. We do not have Mitchell Robinson. Very important cogs for... <laughs> what we need for our defensive side of the basketball. So we'll try to, the Knicks are going to try to grind this out. This is going to be tough. Like I said, altitude in Denver, playing the Nuggets team that's, in fact, I think they're nine and six. And they just got Joker back, you know, who, congratulations to him, had, had a little son. Him and his wife had a son, their second child together. So, you know, he had to take a little time for that, but he's back and he's not hurt. He's, he's ready to play. Um, the MV, three-time MVP, so this is going to be tough. So so uh, they are missing Aaron Gordon, though. They're missing Aaron Gordon. They're starting power forward. But that's, you know, one piece. They got a really a lot of weapons in Denver, so they, they're they going to be tough to play. So tonight's going to be a tough road to hoe. But, and if the Knicks happen to lose this game, I don't want to be hearing about people tripping. You know, it killed me. Sims was plus 19 Saturday, and I get a bunch of idiots. See, this is what I call an idiot. One example, a Monday morning quarterback. So you're looking at the stats and you're like, man, Tibbs should have played Sims more. Like as if during the course of a game, he decides, you know what? We got to play Jericho. You play 40 minutes and that would have changed the outcome. That's stupid. Tibbs knows what he's doing with his rotation. He, this is an 82-game grind, the NBA season. It's not one game. This ain't NC2A. This is the league. It ain't one game and you're done and you do any kind of gimmick to win a game. This is an 82-game grind. You're looking at the long term. You're looking at trying to prepare for playoffs. And the players are going through it right now. All NBA players are, including the Knicks. And we don't need to be second-guessing the coach. I'm sorry. You can't call my channel with that. It's BS. Anyway, let's pull for our heroes today. To win this game in spite of all the odds against them. And let's hope that Deuce and Precious are ready for hopefully Dallas on Wednesday. And we go from there. You all enjoy the game tonight. Shalom.